So last night we had a good stream. I uh, was playing on this channel and it was fun. We had conversations around PC gaming for dads. I thought it was a pretty good conversation, if I'm being honest. I've talked at length about the PC versus console whole situation. And if I'm being honest, um, as usual, I was wrong about a few things. And so I want to get into that today. Um, you'll notice it's a little bit different. We're seated. I have the mic back out because I missed this thing. Yesterday on stream, I took it out because someone was asking about all of the different gear that I used. And I was like, well, my whole channel started on this, this microphone. And I very much so miss using this microphone. And so today I figured let's try a little bit different. It's going to require a little bit of finesse. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This finesse is necessary. And so we're going to go with the mic today. I was wrong about the PC versus console thing for a while. Um, a lot of it is, well, not for a while, but for a few reasons. One reason is I, I definitely got a little too excited. I was like, this is new. This is fun. I'm going to be, you know, using a PC. It's a new way of going about things. And so I went out and I borrowed a PC from my buddy. I'm using his PC right now. It's great. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's a gaming laptop. And I know what some of you guys are going to say. You're say. Well, you're not getting the full experience because you don't have a rig and all this stuff. Like, sure, that may be true. But I don't have, you know, the money that's necessary to get a whole PC set up. So you're right. I don't have a rig. Oh, also, today we're going with San Mateo Yolo Oxo Alabab de Bilton. It's a Mexican coffee, which is sick. I don't feel like we get a lot of Mexican coffees. Let's grind away. The first couple things I want to mention about that gaming PC experience is it's very fun because it's new. See, I am a Mac user, and so I'm not used to PC or Windows or all that stuff. I guess Windows, not PC. Um, I'm not used to Windows. It's not, it's not familiar at all. Very clunky in a lot of ways which is something that I was expecting. Sure, they've ironed out a lot of it. Some people are gonna be like, well, if you think this is clunky, you just, da, da, da. hey, I didn't have to deal with that back in the day. Um, and so it's very clunky. Installing games though is a breeze. I'm playing games that I would never be able to play here on my Mac. And so that's a really, really fun thing to do. I do like that. Uh, let's see here, do I have, I don't. So we're gonna have to do a little spin -a -roo. Yeah, there it is. Spin a roo, baby. 10 seconds. This auto, this scale, the Akaya Pearl S, don't get it. It's 200 something dollars. I'm returning it. It's inaccurate. Timing thing is off. It stopped randomly. Great. Start the timer. Awesome. I even lost my 60 grams. Great. So I'm pouring two. It's 25. I want 415, 425. So that's 35. We're going to 765, 365. Here we go. All right, continue on. So the clunkiness is not something I particularly enjoy, but that's something I can learn to get around. As a dad who has limited finances, I also don't have any PC already built out. All I have are my consoles. And so what I really got to back in my conversation before was use what you have. That's the best thing you're going to be able to do. It's just use what you have in all things, fitness, cooking, anything. The best tool that you can use is the one you already have. Because if you have to go out and buy more tools, you're going to end up spending more money investing in something and you may not even like it. And that's something that I'm learning in this process is the clunkiness that was with Windows. Man, I would have been pretty bummed if I spent, you know, the about $2,000 worth of gear that I would have needed to get the gaming experience I was looking for, which was a 1440p experience with two displays, new peripherals, good enough performance so that I could maintain a somewhat high, you know, frame rate, 100 plus frames per game. I have to spend a couple grand in order to get that experience. I don't think that that is the only experience that, you know, you should be getting. But if I'm going to have to outplay some of my PC, my, my console gaming, I want it to be worth it. I don't want to match my console gaming because my console gaming I already have. Why would I want to match it? I want to outperform it, not marginally, but exceptionally. That's really the goal with PC gaming for me, was to outperform it exceptionally. And I wasn't able to do that, especially with what I was trying to build out, price-wise. 
two grand? No. Thousand bucks, sure, I can match my, maybe outperform it a little bit, but I'd be matching it. I still have to get new displays. I like my setup. I have a 4K TV with a, a, you know, a little 40, it's a 42 inch, but I like it. It plays my PlayStation 5 great. It plays my Nintendo Switch great. It plays my Steam Deck great. I genuinely enjoy it. And so I strive to maintain that to some degree, but the biggest part about it is it saves me money. Sure, I could sell off a lot of this gear, but I'd be entering a new space and having to purchase a lot more games. And so for me, um, I got a little too hasty. I was very excited, and that often is what happens here. And also, someone said in the chat yesterday, which I thought was so fitting, they said, Julian, you're probably just looking to get a PC for content re reasons to try to jumpstart your creativity, which I thought was insulting because they were right, one. And so obviously I banned them. I'm just joking, I didn't ban them. I actually thanked them for their very poignant message because it was correct. I genuinely was trying to figure out how can I jumpstart my creativity with PC gaming? PC gaming isn't the answer for me. It may not be the answer for you either. See, the Steam Deck itself introduced me to a way of playing that I was very, very excited about. It was mod mobile, not modular. I could play wherever I wanted, you know, flexible location gaming, flexi lock, as I like to say. I really like that. It's very nice. And my Switch was able to do that. I was a Switch daddy and now I'm a deck daddy. It's great. I highly recommend that style of gaming for all dads because it makes things very, very doable, extremely doable. And that's the thing that I like. I can play in the living room. I can play outside in the backyard. I can do that. Here's the problem. I don't want to do that. Now, that doesn't mean that the Steam Deck and the Switch is irrelevant now. No, see, when I'm in the backyard or in the living room, it's because my kids are there. And I have a 10-month-old and a 3-year-old. Sure, they're not always going to be that age and things are going to change, but I don't think that's going to change for the next at least three years. See, my 3-year-old is three and a half. She'll be four soon. She's going to require just the same amount of attention, which is great. I work from home. It's awesome. I'm sure I get some evenings to myself, but the past couple of nights I've been staying up late playing video games, stressing out about finances and stuff like that, and my sleep has been terrible. I track all of my fitness through the whoop strap and it shows I am falling apart health-wise because of staying up late playing video games and stuff like that. And so the idea of getting into my office and doing this every single night or some nights just isn't realistic, honestly. It's not good for my health. I wake up early anyway, right? Even if I push my wake up time from five to six, still going to bed at 11 to 12 is not viable. My kids go to bed around eight to nine. And so those last few hours of the night or hour rather, am I going to sit in my bed playing video games or am I going to read a book, which is very important to help with circadian rhythm, all that stuff. I'm not going to bore you with the science, but there's plenty behind it. And so realistically, playing video games is becoming less and less of something I can do. I released a short saying that my time, my, my gaming time is disproportionate to my actual time. I don't have enough time to play video games in this current state of my life. So why would I invest a couple grand into something that honestly, I'm not going to be able to utilize the same amount that I would with something I already have. Oh, that's tasty. By the way, we're not going to finish the cup today because that's just the way it is. Okay, we're going to finish the conversation, but not the cup. As I looked and really weighed some of my options, and I started to investigate and use the PC more and more and more, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was different. It got me out of the Apple world. And as someone who's been an Apple user for such a long time, I was like, finally, I'm out of this Apple golden, or not golden, um, golden handcuffs or walled garden. I'm out of the ecosystem. This is gonna be sweet. Well, it's not practical. You see, I have an iPad. I have an Apple TV. I have an iPhone. I have a MacBook Pro. I have AirPods. I had an Apple Watch, I never liked it, so I switched to Garmin, and even this is too much connectivity, so I'm just gonna go to a G-Shock. I have very, very connected devices. It's very nice, it's extremely nice. It makes it so that when I'm doing things, stuff gets out of my way. That's the most important thing to me. And as someone who has so much trouble finding enough time in the day to do the things I want to do, 
What's more important to me isn't having something that is flexible in modular and all this stuff with like a PC or a Windows device. It's actually having something that's stable and in some ways um, closed off. The Steam Deck is the closest I feel like we can get to that with it still being classified as a PC. Asus ROG Ally has a lot more flexibility, more power. You can do more with it. Just because you can doesn't mean you should, right? I said yesterday that I try my best to purchase and own things not based on what they can do, but based on what I will use them for. Because if I was to go out and purchase things based on what they can do versus what I will use them for, I would end up with a $500 Garmin watch. It can do a lot of things. What am I using it for? Tracking my fitness. This does it better, the whoop strap. And receiving some notifications, not important. And this also has a lot of cool things that you can use with night vision. I don't have night vision goggles. Is it cool because it's tan and it matches my Steam Deck? Yeah. Is it ridiculous? Absolutely, and not necessary. And so I realized that my interest in PC for a lot of this was based on what it can do. And as I started to use this gaming PC that I was given, I realized there's only a few things that I want it to do. There are a few games I'm playing on it that I like, like Helldivers is cool that I can play it on my Steam Deck and on my PC, awesome. But I'm regretting purchasing it for Steam Deck and PC because realistically, that game is not something I can play on the go. Sure, it's nice, I can take it to my friend's house. I don't have people to play that with. My best friend lives in another state. The only one I'd play it with, one lives in Oregon and the other lives in Utah. Sure, I have another buddy here that lives somewhere in SoCal, but I could just use the PlayStation 5. Not going to his house, he's not coming to mine. So a lot of this is something that is very, very particular to me, right? The gaming situation, console versus PC for dads. I think realistically you have to assess where are you in your dad journey? Who are you in your dad journey? Are you the stay at home dad? Because you might be. If you are the stay at home dad, then you might have a little bit extra time. I don't because my extra time is spent trying to work out or edit videos. And so that's that. Are you a late, you know, stay up late? Or, or the most important thing I believe is, do you already have a PC? Because if you have a PC, a console, and all that stuff, it's clear that moving forward, the most flexible option is PC. But if, as a short stated today, if PC gaming or gaming in general is not your only hobby, PC might be a little bit too much. It might be too many options. Now, PC does offer a lot, like flexibility when it comes to workflow. You can edit videos on it. I use MacBook Pro because I prefer to have a system that works in tandem with my phone and a lot of different things. It's very nice. Uh, you can do your taxes on it because for some reason TurboTax doesn't work on Mac. You can do a lot of different things. You can upgrade your parts over the years and have better performance incrementally over the years and you don't have to deal with buying a brand new machine if that's the way you go about it. All very, very like attractive reasons to purchase a PC. But what if you don't need to do that? What if you're perfectly served by a couple consoles, a Steam Deck, and some of the flexibility you may gain by going all PC Steam isn't necessarily going to be utilized as much as you think? Something to think about. I think that for me, I'm trying to always look for the one solution. And it's clear to me that over these past few months of me investigating and also three years of me doing video games, there isn't one. There is no objective better than the other. There's the only the subjective version of it. And if I'm going to state my Lodi, I think that owning a Nintendo device is paramount for me because I am obsessed with their franchises. I've grown out of a few of them and I find myself bored of some of the things that they release. But hey, I don't have to love it all because I also like playing games on my PlayStation 5. I have God of War and all these games. It'd be fun to play on my Steam Deck. But realistically, I'm really cool with having the gaming experience on my TV, which I have a nice one, and intermittently at that. The Steam Deck, on the other hand, allows me to play some indies that I think Steam is beautiful at distributing, as well as emulate. 
And those two things in tandem are great for the mobile and on the go experience. I don't know if playing games like Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War or even Final Fantasy VII Remake in that small of a form factor is the most pleasurable experience, especially for someone who uses a TV as a monitor. I'm very, very fortunate. It's a very unique gaming experience, but having the LG C2, the 42 inch, as my gaming monitor or as my gaming thing in my office where I sit three to four feet away from it with a really comfortable chair, good audio because I have, you know, bookshelf speakers on my desk, studio, studio style monitors on my desk. It's a pretty decent experience. It's a very good experience. If I was playing on a 1080p monitor or a 1440p monitor, maybe that'd be different, 27 inches, something like that, but I'm not. I'm playing on an actual TV. Sure, some games are blurry. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth doesn't look the best. It doesn't. But I'm okay with it because the gameplay is so good. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is one of the most fun games I've ever experienced. Honestly, I'm enjoying almost, if not all, minutes of it. Every minute of it. And so as it stands now when it comes to PC versus console for dad, the real question is, what kind of dad are you? Do you have teenagers that are barely in your house? Do you have adult kids that are moved out? Those are two very, very different types of dads than a toddler and baby dad. Toddler, baby dad, we don't have that time. We're just trying to make sure we don't get poop on us. That's the truest statement I've ever said. I love streaming, and so I'm gonna keep streaming as much as I can. I'm doing my research, and I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna be. I do stuff here, the channel tanks. I do stuff over on Twitch. It's brand new, so it's scary. Yesterday, people made some really good points for Twitch. I'm gonna try it a little bit more. Join me on Twitch this evening. I'm gonna try to do as much streaming as I can. My goal is to stream five out of the seven days in the evening times because it allows me to play video games and also potentially make an extra couple bucks, which is very nice because I'm trying to make this a very viable career. So without further ado, I'm gonna finish this cup. I'm gonna go let my kid back in the backyard because she's counting snails. Yeah, that's where we're at. But most of all, this is very important. Happy gaming.